yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to Burning Rubber Garage again. We're working on the Nova. Kind of take a peek at it here. Uh, as you can see here, as you can see with this cable right there, you see the throttle cable right there. It's just too long. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to modify that and make it so it's a lot cleaner, so it's not going up and around and over. Uh, the, bring it right over, right? And it should make the pedal feel a lot more linear, smooth. I mean, what are we looking for? Yeah, you'll have better throttle control because right now you press the throttle, it bunches this up because it's not tight. And, and you can feel every time it catches in the car on the pedal, it's not giving us the type of feedback. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to move this plate back so it's a, more of a straight shot. Might even move it into here. We want to keep the spring tight, but there's a lot on that spring, so it shouldn't be too bad. If we have to, we'll rebend the spring right there and take a half inch out like that. Uh, shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, it's something, if we screw it up, I think we're going to have to buy a cable. Not a huge deal, and then we can modify that one. But this one, as it sits, just it, it isn't safe. I mean, it could bind and stick with the throttle open. It could, yep. So, I mean, that's not safe. And I tried finding one at the local parts stores, and I didn't have time to order it. No one seems to have this short of a cable. I only need like a 18 inch, 24 inch at most, mm -hmm. two footer, but everybody's got a three footer. But I, I really don't think we need that long. So, we're going to try this. We'll bring you along. We've got a couple, we've got a pair of dikes. We got a pair of tin snips. snips, and we're hoping that'll cut through the casing. If not, we do have a hacksaw. Uh, and then after that, today we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give this a, a power switch hidden in the car that we'll hook up that'll give it 12 volts. Because as we're cranking now with how we're hooked up, it's just not, it's dropping and then it's causing some startup issues sometimes, and other times it's not. So Yeah, we have a short somewhere in the accessory block. And instead of fixing it, we're just gonna short. run our own wire, right? <laughs> yep. We'll deal with that later. But we'll kind of uh, give you an idea of what we're going to do, and then the switch is going to be somewhere that I'm probably not going to show. So um, I actually don't really care if you show. I mean, the chance of this being left somewhere is slim to none. So, <laughs> But, yeah, it's, uh, I did that on my 68 Mustang. If I have a picture, I'll post it up here. Um, we had a – it was an ignition switch. It killed the pump and everything. Without fuel pump, you got no power. So with that, it was like a safety feature because people come in, and sometimes the key blocks – wear out you can start them with a screwdriver and sometimes without even a screwdriver you just turn it and you can fire up and steal the car but this one they couldn't get very far i mean whatever was in the bowls would burn but they wouldn't even probably get it into a gear before it was done so uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on this what you're going to need is a little allen wrench i mean this just pulls off like i think it just pulls off like that you just need a little allen wrench right there pull that out that will release the wire and then we'll uh, be able to cut it down and we're going to see how this goes it is crimped on this end so we're going to see how that plays, but I think if we leave enough shielding to pull into here, we should yeah, be fine. We've taken this, we pulled the actual cable itself that you, when you push it cut, gives and takes through there. And as you can see here, we pulled it into the cab here. So you can kind of see the wire right there. This is the, uh, this is the throttle wire. You really can't pick that up on camera, but we pulled that through far enough back that we're going to be able to cut the, the sheathing on it, this braided. So we're going to cut this back into here where we need it. And then we should be, honestly, a straight shot. And it should really clean up the, the flow of the pedal. And it shouldn't inhibit anything, don't you think? Yeah. I think it'll be good. So he's measuring it out right here. So we cut once, or measure twice, cut once is what they say, right? Mm-hmm. Where do you want it? You want it about on that angle? What do you think? Is that going to be a straight pull or is it going to be coming out at a crazy angle? Uh, that's going to come at a straight pull. Pretty straight? Know. You're really more like that? like that? Yeah, let's do it like that. Okay. Maybe even in just a little bit that way. If we have a if it slack, we can tighten it back up anyways. So. That's where we're going to cut it. All right. Let's see if I can get us a good angle and a cut. Yeah, that should be good. And these uh, just tin snips went right through it. So as long as the cable's not in there, you should be good. Double check, make sure your cable's not in there, because if you do cut your cable, then you are done. You'll need a new cable. So as you can see here, no cable in there. So let's get this. Uh, you got to get this circle back together. 
He's just gonna make it so it's uh, nice there. Just take that oval and make it round. We'll hand this you know to you. You know your holes. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in here and push the cable through. Let's see if we can catch on camera when it uh, starts poking through. What do they call it when you're having a baby and it's crowning? Oh, crowning. <laughs> We've got crownage. I got a good action shot on that one. <laughs> and now that pedal is perfect when it's tight. That's where we need it. So now what we're gonna do now that he's got all that through there, we'll get this set up over here. We'll figure out where we want that. And then we'll measure this, cut it, and we should have throttle. And what it did is it removed the kinks out of there's a kink right there and there's a kink up in here. This one's already smoothed out, but this one you can still see where it's been. Whoever put this cable in really screwed it up. Maybe it's when we reused it. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll try and show you guys as much of it as we can. Dude, that gimbal is awesome. Don't worry about that. Oh, man, it wasn't really angled at it, but whatever. Oh. There we go. So he's got that marked. He cut it. We took off this much cable. I'd say about a foot, mm -hmm. which is nice. But look at that like cable run right there. It's a lot smoother than before. This should be a lot better. Before it was doing like a loop-de-loop. -loop. So now he's putting this over the end. Twist your ends together. Make them nice and tight. Now he's going to go ahead and crimp that down, which will lock the cable in place. And then we'll go and check throttle response. Because before it was not really throttle response. You had to fight through it because it was catching and binding. And it's funny, we didn't stick it wide open. Mm-hmm. Well, that took all the play out, didn't it? Nah. We might be there's, moving this back just a hair. Play. But the nice thing about this is we've got it really close. We can move this back just a little bit. I'm going to go push the pedal in. Dude, that feels smooth as shit. Are we full throttle? Right there. Yeah, you're full throttle. Uh, we're going to put that on 50 horsepower now. Um, do we want to move that plate back so there's no play in that at all? I have no play? I, I like that idea. Uh, this is just a half inch on this guy. Right there? Yep. Oh, now you're starting to pull the throttle. <laughs> oh, back in just a hair there. Right That's there. probably good right there, yeah. huh? Around this guy. Probably good, huh? Dude, go ahead and see what you think. You felt it before, dude. It's not pretty. But now, now we've got such smooth throttle, it's going to be a treat to drive, man. Oh, no play in the pedal at all. No binding. No <laughs> it doesn't bind. It's a smooth shot. Hit it again. As you guys can see from the cable there. You don't even see this really moving. I mean, it's going to move a little bit because it's pulling through it and putting pressure in there, but it's it's right there. You can't beat that. I'd say that's going to be a successful adventure if you try and do that yourself. Just take your time. I We didn't think about doing it until we put our heads together. It's not something that just came to our mind. I was wanting to crimp it and put all the slack on the pedal side. Uh, and after looking at it together and kind of putting our heads together, we came up with cutting a bunch of the uh, shielding down. and cable down. And now we've got just an even cleaner looking engine bay. Because mm -hmm. it used to coil clear down here and up and then up like that. And that's just not what we need. Um, I turned that down. Just little things. And usually it's the little things that add up to the point where someone's like, dude, this car, I can't do it anymore. There's just too much to do. So... We're knocking off all the little stuff. We're going to take a look at these bulbs. We'll be very careful on a car this old. They look like original screws. Uh, we'll be careful pulling them out, something you should too. But we've got a messed up tail light and I believe a front turn signal marker light. Um, so before, good. when we turned on the lights, so like, look, if I, uh, what we got going on here is there's a, you can kind of tell by, we got the side marker going, but it's needs we need to get a good ground. We actually got tail lights, brake lights, and the far side marker light working. So this thing is, I don't know, what do you think, a night or two more away from hitting the street? Oh yeah. Maybe less. 
before the big first takeout, and then we got to cruise it and let the Phytech learn. And after it learns, we got uh, smoky burnout, right? Mm -hmm. I think smoky burnout's what comes after that. But so today, what we've done is we shortened this cable. We went through all the lights, and then we're going to wire the that ignition switch, kind of a hidden kill switch in the cab. And we should be good at that point. I might even start pulling wire for that. We're going to go in about the same spot down there where we took the wires in before, run it up and around the back, and then when we're done, we'll wrap all those wires in some nice small wire loom, uh, make it work. So we'll get him some light back over there. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. I know this was kind of more of a boring episode. I'm not sure what to do about that. This is just kind of some of the more tedious crap that you have to do to get your ride out on the road when you buy something that's not a 100% or you let it sit like I did. So um, what do you think, man? I think it'll be out there within the week. Oh, yeah. I think we'll hit 1,000 before this hits the road. I hope so. So do I. So do I. But Tell we'll, your friends and family, your boyfriends, your girlfriends. Yeah. I, uh, Ladies, if you have to tell your boyfriends you, or boyfriend to follow a car channel, I think you have the wrong boyfriend. I think you have a girlfriend. <laughs> I think you might have a girlfriend. <laughs> That's on. All right, guys, first trip around. Sorry, it's dark. Uh, can you see anything? Sorry, too shy to my light got, your uh, We've got most lights. And I wish we could go farther uphill so when we die, we can roll down. <laughs> I don't think it's going to die, do you? I don't think so. I think the hardest part we're going to have is getting it into gear. Banging gears, yeah. Thank you. 